So I've just taken the lid off the hot tub and uh, as you can see there are a few little bits. Now the water's been in there three weeks and it's still pretty clear. Just needs a top up now and a few bits at the bottom. So I'm just going to get the little net in there, scoop around the bottom and hopefully that'll get those bits out. Okay, so um, I'm going to just do a bit of cleaning in it as well. So I'm going to test it in a minute with test strips. Now I'm going to use these best way clear, flow clear ones. Um, they're slightly better. I'd said from one of my other ones about foam remover. So this is a foam remover I'm using. Okay, but what I do is dilute it, the foam away. 50% uh, of water, 50% of foam away. Put in a little spray bottle. And then when it's running, I spray it across the top. Turn it off and everything just slides toward the edge. Now you can use miracle sponges to clean it off. Uh, these are the chlorine tablets, um, so Colin asked me this morning, a couple of questions about the chlorine tablets, they're multifunction, so they've got a clarifier and outside in them, so I'm going to use these, just check the pH, bring the pH back up, and as I said, just run the net around the bottom. filter here um, and as you've seen in my previous videos we just go around to the side um, undo the filter nut uh, some people prefer to undo the whole filter unit but I just undo the filter nut take the cover off tip out any excess water and remove the old filter then as you can see the old filter and the new filter this is just after 24 hours use so there's a little bit of wear on that so drop the new filter into the grey unit back onto the filtration point and then screw in the nut and that's changing the filter so while my hands are in the water uh, I'm going to put out and unscrew the chem connect so it's just a short screw and you bring it out and you can see there's only a little bit of a multi-function tablet left in there so what I'm going to do place that on the side and get myself two multi-function tablets they're quite big and they do take between two or three days to dissolve. Um, these ones are the Clever Spa ones, but I have used clear water, but they're multifunction. So they've got the clarifier, the aldicide, um, and the chlorine or them. So I'm going to pop two tablets in the Chem Connect uh, and then pop them back on and then pop back in the spa. It's worth remembering is that as soon as you put these chlorine tablets in, you can get in and use the spa straight away. Um, it just releases a gradual dose of chlorine. Um, to keep the pool chlorinated and clear. Um, so once I've done all that is I just run the pump just for a second because uh, what I want to do now is just make sure that it's filling water through the chem connect. Now as you can see here I've started from the pump and there is some foam appearing on the top of the spa. So here's the foam room I use. Now previously you did notice that uh, you know, I did say that I put some, just poured it straight in the hot tub. But what I've got here is a little spray bottle with 50% water, 50% uh, foam away. And then what I do is I just go and I spray it on top of the foam while the filter's running. And you can see now that the foam is just dispersing. So without over chemically treating your spa water, we've got rid of that foam. So as you can see, the foam has diminished quite a bit. So just shake it up and use it. Uh, not only is it cost saving, but I think it's cleaner for the water because you're not using um, so many chemicals to give it a shake. A bit more on there, so just give it a squirt. And as you can see, those bubbles are just diminishing, and this foam is just going away and leaving the viewer with a nice clear water. So, after you've let the water settle for maybe a minute, um, you'll see flies and bits of debris just floating on top of your water. Um, these because when the bubbles have been on it they've just disturbed all the sediments at the bottom so all we've done is just got the net again and we've just gone round. Now you can see I'm showing you now the miracle sponge so just get the miracle sponge wet and just run it over the side of your tub. Now you'll notice that any grease, oil and dirt that gets stuck to the side of the tub just gets wiped off. And you can see I'm just wiping it off just gently with the miracle sponge, just get some green off if there is any. And I do this probably once a week. 
um, just go around and it makes the sides nice and clean um, and all we're doing is we're disturbing anything that's caught to the sides and mixing it in with the water. Now it may seem strange that we're letting it go into the water but what we're going to do is let the chlorine and the filter do their jobs by clarifying the water, getting rid of the algae and then filtering it. Uh, that's what the filters are there for, so the miracle sponge. Now I would say this water, give it 10 minutes, make sure it's up to temperature, crystal clear after three weeks. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the uh, flow clear, the best way ones. Just take one test strip out. Now I was reading on one of the forums this morning, people are saying these are quite expensive. I mean these are 6 99 for 50 Now what some people have been doing is cutting them down the middle, so you can use the other basic 100. So what I'm going to do now is take, tip, dip it in the water. And hold it against my scale. Now what it's telling me now is that my total alkalinity is low. My pH is low. And my chlorine is low. Now don't worry because this water has been in three weeks and it is crystal clear and it is beautiful water and I'll show you just why. So as you saw when we were testing the chemical levels in the water um, that the total al alkalinity was quite low as well as the pH was really low as well. Now you've got to ask yourself is how do I manage my water and why does it fluctuate so much? Well I know it's showing low on chlorine now but it's had the two of the low feeding tablets in there. So I'm not too worried about the chlorine at the moment. What I want to do is raise that total alkalinity and raise that pH level. And the easiest way to do this is to use the pH plus. Now I've used, the, I've used all different brands, so don't stick with me and say this is the brand to use. This is the brand I'm using now. When it runs out, I'll buy whatever's on offer. But the pH plus is probably one of the better ones uh, to be using. This is the way to do it for me, and I find this works, and it's by over-shocking the water with pH plus. So what I'm gonna add now is I'm gonna add between six and eight teaspoons of pH plus. This will raise the total pH level to a high level, and it will raise the total alkalinity. When they're both raised up, then I will use a small amount of pH minus, which will bring the pH level down, but leave the total alkalinity high. So that's eight teaspoons of pH plus and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the pump now um, to disperse all those chemicals. So as you saw I added that pH plus and I've just turned the tub and I'm going to leave it running now for about uh, eight to ten minutes and that's just going to keep circulating and oxygenating that water. The oxygen in the water with the mix with the pH plus will help that all dissolve and it will go through lovely.